Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013. And today we're back on the Idaho map. And uh, in the previous episode, we uh, started some harvesting. And we took a little tour of the, uh, of the town that's close by. And in this episode, we're going to keep on harvesting, see if we can sell some crop. Because <clears throat> we need equipment. We need lots of equipment. So, let's see if we can find our harvester. Because we haven't set up any, so let's go to... There we are. That little bitty sucker. We need a bigger harvester, that's for certain sure. Start this guy up and get him working. set up a course for this we are on which field is this this is field seven okay no so field number seven there we are and ride the course this is the tractor that we were driving when we took the tour of town get him back on the on the farm and working working farm we need to uh, hustle up here and just make a little money get some better equipment okay let's find a place for him to park for the time being I'll just set him right here. Okay. That guy and this guy. Let's take a look at our banking situation. Oh, we got a loan of 300000 What did we buy? we got for okay I know what we can do let's um <laughs> where's our tractor at there he is let's drop one of these trailers We'll get the other tractor. This one. Our universal do everything tractor. One size fits all. And let's get him selling some crop. We can get that loan paid off. And it'll be a good way for us to figure out where everything's at as far as selling. Um, as I mentioned before, I played this map just briefly, just to try to get a lay of the land. So I don't know where any of the cell points really are. But um, this will give you an opportunity to see what we were talking about in the previous episode about our silo system here. And again, there is one uh, filling point and one drop-off point. So when your big crops in off the field, you go down here, dump it in that uh, grate over there, and then to pick up harvest or grain, we go over here. And once you get under here, I don't know how that's going to work in course play. We'll have to find out. Okay, once you get here, 
you have to choose with the O uh, key what you want. Now right now it's set on wheat. So if we wanted barley, you just keep uh, going through it with the O key. Choose what you want. Let's sell the corn first. And then, of course, with J key, you start filling. And we're going to start, of course, I don't know if I should start a course because I don't really know where to, where it is. Let's see, where do we sell corn? Corn, 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 corn. Hmm. Let's see if we can figure out where we're supposed to sell this stuff. First of all, let's see what the best price is. Looks like we've got a brewery. I think the uh, Bassett has to do with animals. There's the co-op. And we know where the co-op's at. That's in town. So, uh, uh, corn is 437 at the co-op. And corn is at the grain mill 437. And it's 437 at Hanson, wherever that is. And at the train depot. So it's 437 regardless of where you go. So let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got some rainy weather here. And uh, this time of year the rain brings the pollen down. And I got up this morning with a little bit of a scratchy throat and gummy eyes. Not gummy bear eyes, just gummy eyes. Okay, let's line this thing up. And we'll start a course. And see if I can remember where the co-op was. Pretty sure if I remember right, it was in town when we took that little tour of town. I remember looking over and say, "Oh, look, there's the co-op." So let's go back into town. See if we can find it. I don't know what this is. It's kind of a staging area. I don't know if that's part of our farm or not. Whoa, stay on the road. Stay on the road. Follow the yellow brick road. Now, is that the co-op over there? Uh, let's uh, head down this way. I kind of like these roads are fairly wide, you know, fairly wide considering that most of the maps there aren't any striping on the roads and this looks more like an American road. Oh man, we've got a lot of th equipment to buy. We've got to buy a corn header. Definitely need a bigger harvester. That harvester is going to take forever to get the crops off the field. There's the co-op. Okay, so if somebody needs to mow their lawn in their house. Okay. 
obey the traffic laws. And go in here and see if we can find the tip point. Is it in front or is it back? Run around the back, take a look. Need to get me a utility vehicle so I can drive around. Look at things. Oh, come on, there's got to be a tip point someplace. It's a big old place. What's that guy doing? Just sitting there. I'm going to have to redo this course. I'm lost. Oh, it's right out front. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's uh, pause the course. And let's go back and delete these. <laughs> it figures, doesn't it? Okay. Now let's go back and uh, delete these points here. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay. We get for taking a scenic tour. Okay, delete, 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 delete. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, around the corner we go. Take her back out close to the street. Now, that's. I see we can get fertilizer here, that's good. What if we get seed here? Okay, let's see, we came in. Let me go back just a little bit more. Right about there. Get close to that point there. <clears throat> Man, get this junk out of my throat. Okay, let's start recording again. We'll unpause it. up to the tipping point. And back to the farm. This place is huge. made myself a big cup of hot tea hoping to clear up some of this throat stuff, dry throat. Even if it doesn't, doesn't it's uh, nice to have a hot cup of tea in the morning. I'm not a coffee drinker. My wife's a tea drinker. And I didn't used to drink tea either. But I started drinking tea recently. I found a tea from a company out of England uh, called uh, Russian Caravan, and it's, uh, I really like it. It's pretty strong tea, but I like it strong. Yeah, it looks like we've got some distances to drive to sell crop. Now, that's probably the closest one. So we're definitely going to have to get a semi-truck and a trailer. 
if not more than one. One to start with anyway. To a stop right in front of the silo. Stop it here. And boy, now since we've got one point here, we can just name this. Um, bum, bum, bum. What are we going to name it? Hmm. We can name it. Wheat, barley, or corn to co-op. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but that's what we're going to do. Never played on a uh, farm that had this kind of a setup. Okay, let's uh, drive the course again. This time, let's select canola. Let's see what the prices are. Canola. All right, canola. We're selling for ten twenty nine at the co op. Ten twenty nine at the Green Mill. Ten twenty nine at Anson. Ten twenty nine at Depot. This is great. This is weird. All of them at the same price. Okay. And we're back to the co-op then. So let's build a trailer and drive the course. Let's go take a look, see how our combine's doing. Is Kramer moving him into group uh, 10? Because we're just using him for a marker. Okay. So, combine. Trailer. Trailer. Well, it looks like we're up to $7,653. Woohoo! Good start. What else have we got in the silos? A little bit of wheat, 20000 Barley to sell. We've got potatoes and sugar beets to sell. Now there's, um, I think there's five sell points for grain. There's two for potatoes and one for sugar beets. Well, let's see if we can find out where the potatoes are sold. All right, potatoes. And then we get what? We're gonna have to figure out where to get oats and soybeans. I don't know if I have a cedar that does oats and soybeans. Okay, potatoes. 
potatoes not sold there. Potatoes are sold at Hanson and the train depot. Okay. And sugar beets were sold at the Gem State Sugar Company. Huh. Alrighty. tour of the map so I can find these places. Oh well, something we should do anyway. Pardon me while I get another sip of tea. I was watching an Eng uh, an English YouTuber. He's a Minecrafter. I play a lot of Minecraft, uh, and I watch a lot of Minecraft on uh, YouTube. And as you know, in England they drink a lot of tea, and they drink it a little bit different than we do. They uh, they'll make their tea and they put cream in it or sh or milk. Um, and sugar and um, he was talking one day about drinking tea you know fixing himself a cup of tea and and uh, he ma made mention that uh, he could not believe that uh, people in America drank tea with nothing in it just tea and uh, he was confounded by that. He just, he, it was incomprehensible that people would drink tea without cream and sugar in it. You know, I tried it. I didn't actually I, I actually gave it a try um, I made a cup of tea and I put uh, milk in it and uh, <laughs> I couldn't drink it I, uh, I, I I thought it would be fine because when I was young I used to drink coffee with cream in it but I tried it with the tea and I just gagged on it I just couldn't drink it so I took a couple sips of it dumped it out I thought it was so funny because he just thought oh it's just Unbelievable that anybody would even make a cup of tea without sugar and cream. And well, he's welcome to it. I just like my tea, my tea just plain. I do put sweetener in it. I don't. I don't do sugar. I I do some different forms of sweeteners. Try not to do a lot of that. I started drinking coffee when I was young, but I couldn't drink it without a ton of sugar in it, so it wasn't worth it when I got old enough to really drink it. Okay, before we sell, um, let's go ahead and sell some wheat. Maybe. Oh, we have barley. Let's sell barley. That's kind of cool. Select your wheat and run. And uh, I'm assuming that uh, the co-op has best price, so I'm just going to the co-op. Meanwhile, let's go check on Combine. He's still chugging along. Uh-oh, looks like the tractor's in the road, though. You're going to have to move. Not a good place to park yourself. Let's see, is there anything else we can be doing while we're doing this? And at one point we were going to buy... We need to buy a windrower because we don't want to waste that straw out there. Or some way to pick it up. Oh, we need so much equipment.
I don't think this map's going to show us anything here. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what... Oh, that must be the brewery. Maybe it does show us a little bit. So maybe it does show us a little bit here, if we can figure it out. The coot. What could that be? Okay, so here's the farm. Well, that's the co-op. Okay, there's the co-op. That's the brewery up here. Uh, can't tell what that is. Biogas. So there's some stuff up here. Looks like everything's kind of north past the town. So let's kind of drive up that way and take a look once we get this uh, grain delivered. Tractors are so slow. Look, the speed limit is 55. Let's get it. Come on. Oh, that, uh, that... Look at that part of the window and I spun around and I put him in this position. I thought the driver had a pipe in his mouth. Hey, he's smoking a pipe while he's driving. Cool. I tried that once. It's a whole lot different when somebody else is smoking it than when you are. Darn things get really hot and they don't smell very good. Somebody else is smoking it. Man, it smells good. My uh, grandfather used to smoke uh, Cherry Blend. I'd walk in. Oh, it smells so good. Tried it once. Wasn't the same. Boy, did I really cut that that close? I guess I did. Go, tractor. Go. Go, go, go. Go. Cut him off. Oh. Didn't think he was going to stop. Okay. Let's stop this guy and take over. It's going to be interesting to find out uh, after a while if the price has changed because according to what I was looking um, at it on the PDA, <laughs> every place you go at the same price. I mean, I don't see any point in having five grain sell points if, uh, if they're all the same price. Unless they're, well, unless they're close to, choose the closest one to the silos. Well, we'll see as time goes on. Uh oh, it's yellow. It's yellow. No, it's red. Oh, man, that was a fast light. Okay, so it appeared. Oh, there's a gas station. Mobile. So we got the, we've got the um, vehicle shop, supermarket, which you can't go into. One of you, you can probably. Probably can get gas at the gas station at least. Well, let's just check see what the prices were. Okay, so this is a repair shop. On the left is a grocery store. Yeah, did we drive out this way? It seemed like I did. Maybe not. Okay, there's the dairy plant. 
Is that the dairy plant and the brewery? That's a train station to the right. Okay, so what does the sign say? And the sign says sugar factory. Okay, so now we know where the beets go. Okay, so this is the this is the dairy and the sugar beets must be back here in this uh, brick building or series of brick buildings. No, this is Budweiser. What? Come on. Okay, so this is the brewery. Oh, you can't tell me that you sell sugar beets at a brewery. No, that's got to be the barley. Barley and wheat, maybe? Okay. Sugar beets must be down the road. Head on down the road. Yeah, I didn't really think we are going to take another tour this early, but uh, since that combine's so slow, why not? Gem State Sugar. Whoa, look at all the beets. Okay, so it looks like this must be the drop off point. I wonder if we can collect beets. Nah, that'd be funny. Sell beets, take them back, sell them again. Alright, so I guess we just take a big circle. Get back out of here. Okay, so we found the brewery. We know where the co-op's at. And the uh, sugar beets. So the, the brewery is... Uh, and the co-op, that's two out of five. And sugar beets, there's only one place. That's the sugar beet factory. Which is interesting. When I was uh, first out of high school, I went to work for a sugar factory. Okay, let's uh, go back around this way and I think this is the train depot that would be a third one for grain and then there must be two more there must be something close to the uh, the cattle farm I'm just gonna call it the cattle farm where all the animals are so this is the train depot Yes, it's nice, okay. Nice, easy access. Train Depot. You see, there's uh, fields planted everywhere. They don't all belong to us. God, look at the size of them. All right, we're going to head on down the road. Actually, it looks like the roads are set up pretty good here. It's just a big circle, kind of. So you can kind of get around to everything. That's a nice little farm. A couple of red barns. I kind of like also that not all the farm farms, or the farmland, that is, they're not all big squares or rectangles. There are some uh, triangular shaped ones. Okay, what's this? This is the old feed mill, Hanson. Okay, well, it's a sign for it. That was another place to, uh, to sell things. We just need to find it. And Bassett, that's where you sell the cattle. That's the... Uh, Livestock market. That's good to know. I haven't found it yet either. I brought a faster tractor. That red one is not. I know that. <laughs> How did I say that? I don't think I have a faster tractor. And I don't think that other dude's is any faster than this one. It might be, but... Probably not by much. Alright, what do we got back there? Just fields. There's a farm back there, maybe? It's 
so far I really like this map uh, it's big the fields are big but there's stuff to look at there's little farmhouses everywhere there's a nice little town uh, there's power poles and old falling down buildings that that's exactly what you see in the United States in the country you see old buildings like that that are falling apart there's actually uh, there's actually little uh, people that make, make a business out of that I know I have a friend that um, he and his wife are uh, retired and they go around looking for falling down barns and sheds like that and they go to the owners and they buy the the wood and they go in there and demolish the building and they take the old barn wood and they create stuff out of it signs you know whatever their creative minds could come up with and then they go to these uh, convention centers where they have these I don't know what you call them big market uh, stalls they, they they purchase a stall and sell their wares okay so that's a second farm up that way train station over here's the biogas plant down that way all right well, let's just keep going in a big circle. This is, uh, is this a diner? Diner gas station? We'll just keep going around. Yeah, I don't think we, uh, I don't think we found where those other two places are. Definitely, we're going to have to do a little more traveling around this map, find our way around. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh wow, nice little lake. Okay, what do these signs say? Second farm. Okay. Let's uh, let's pull off the side of the road here. Good place as any. Take a look, see how our combine's doing. Chugging along. And he's why do you keep parking in the in the way? Oh well, looks like he's almost full. Alright, we're right around 40 minutes in this episode, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. When we come back, we'll continue on harvesting and selling. Try to get enough money to buy some new equipment. And at this point, I'll wish you all a good day.